Hey guys, and welcome back to Sailing Sunday, BVI's edition. This week we're kicking off at a famous dive site just off Norman Island named The Indians. Featuring four rocky pinnacles home to an array of colorful fish and coral gardens. Alrighty gang, we just picked up our mooring ball. First one of the BVI's. But it's only a two hour maximum stay. So we're literally just gonna jump in. We haven't even tied it off properly. We've just got it hanging off one cleat, but we're only gonna be here for a short time. We're just gonna go for a quick dive and then continue on to our next anchorage. So it doesn't Guys, really matter. This is called the Indians. It's meant to be the most beautiful diving spot, shallow diving spot in all of the BVI's. So, we saw some wicked fish this morning at our like old school anchorage. We find a lot of these old tourists. Old school anchorage. Well, like you know, we found a, we found some cool fish at our other anchorage. We find that these tourist spots generally aren't as good as they say they are. Right? Sometimes they surprise you. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they're worth the hype. So let's go check it out. now that was really beautiful usually in a tourist spot like this the reefs are kind of dead so it's nice to see that it's actually looking too but you know not too bad so now we're gonna slip our mooring line and head over to Willie T's which is literally right there this is the famous Willie T's and this floating party barge is legendary here in the BBI's This place was named after William Thornton, a Yoss Van Dyke local who famously designed the U.S. Capitol building. But don't get it twisted, this place is nothing but absolute debauchery. Years ago, you could actually jump off naked and get a free t-shirt, but that practice has since been retired. Now you can come, enjoy the music, the scenery, and a few too many rums, and watch the shenanigans unfold. All right, good morning. We are about to pick up anchor now. We saw the famous Willie T's. General consensus, go there if you wanna get trash for the day and day drink. That's probably the extent of it, but it was a cool experience. Now we're gonna pick up anchor and pull around the corner to Jost van Dyke, which is one of the other islands here, and it's actually where we're gonna check out. We might, may go directly to Puerto Rico or pull into the USVI's first, we're not sure yet. It's gonna be so cool there, I cannot wait. <laughs> Let's go. It's a race, guys! It's a three knot race. That's how fast we're going. And you know what? We just stole their wind. <laughs> <laughs> it's really no race when you're up against a 60 foot mono hole, but you know, we're doing all right. We're just gonna keep these dirty tactics, stealing their wind, cutting them off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so we're sitting here in Jos van Dyke. Ignore the water maker because they're currently making water while there's no charter boats around because in the evenings this place is packed. And uh, as you guys can see, it's uh, pretty empty right now with all these mooring boys just sitting here in the water. 
And uh, when it's packed with charter boats, you know what that means. You don't want to make water. Because <laughs> who knows what they're doing in there. Are you crying? What's wrong? Brittany's got some exciting news. I want to spill it. I look awful. If you guys uh, missed those videos, we had a foster dog as a tiny little bottle baby whose mum was killed and we've been trying to find him a home. We had a few people, but they just weren't really the right fit for him. Well, we didn't feel the boat was right for him. So we flew him up to Canada, thanks to all you guys and our Patreons because it was a pretty costly exercise. So you guys are amazing because we really couldn't do this without you. He went to a place called Eastern Ontario Pot Cake Rescue. I just got a message from Oliver's foster family in Canada. And they said they love him so much they can't let him go. And that's just like such a relief because it was such a long road for him to get to a home and he was such a good boy. So it's nice to know that he's found his home. So you're happy? Yes, I'm very happy. <laughs> Uh, again guys thank you thank you to everybody it's uh it's the best feeling in the world this is after getting such exciting news we decided to head in with our buddy boat to celebrate and experience the famous soggy dollar bar Tucked away in White Bay on Yoss Van Dyke, this legendary soggy dollar bar is a tourist hotspot and the birthplace of the original painkiller rum cocktail, which will either ease your pain or be the cause of it. And now you may be wondering where the soggy dollar bar got its iconic name from. This pristine beach doesn't have any docks, which meant yachties had to swim to shore and pull a few soggy dollars out of their pockets to enjoy their famous rum cocktail. And to finish off our awesome time here in the BBIs, we decided to head into Foxy's Beach Bar to celebrate the lovely Dasha's birthday with some dinner and fun. Okay, good morning guys. We're heading off, we're going to Puerto Rico this morning. We're running late, we wanted to leave at sunrise and it's about 7 a.m. So we've just been getting the boat ready, been making water, getting things sorted. Jackson, are you excited? All right guys, so Brittany's picking up anchor now. We're heading to Puerto Rico. Do a bit of a stock up, get some fuel. Uh, we don't really need it, but it's the cheapest place to get it. So we just fill up there and uh, get a whole bunch of food for the Bahamas. You all right, sexy legs? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, then we'll continue up the Bahamas. <laughs> Jackson's just taking a dump it's right next to Brittany when she's picking up anchor. Oh, this is our life with dogs on the boat. That's right, we'll wash it down, guys. It looks gross, but we will wash it down. <laughs> We're gonna do a drive by and say bye to uh, our friends, but before that, could quickly clean the boat. And there we go, guys. Our adventure, the BVI's, has come to an end. I think we'll be back here again one day soon. It was so beautiful here. So, off to Puerto Rico. Something oh, has a shallow patch over here, just make sure I don't hit it. It's gonna take us, we got about 14 to 15 knots behind us. It might die down to 10 knots in places. We've got about 80 nautical miles. I'm expecting that we'll get there in about 12 hours. And uh, one and a half meter seas, about 10 seconds apart. 
So I'm expecting a really cruisy sail today, tonight, and we should get in there by about nine o'clock. As you can see, we don't have a lot of wind today. We're dead <laughs> down wind. <laughs> All right, we're putting the pole up, which we haven't done since we crossed the Atlantic. If we had to summarize our time here in the British Virgin Islands, we would say we were pleasantly surprised. This place is absolutely gorgeous and bursting with endless activities and adventure. We definitely suggest adding it to your bucket list, but just remember, this is where the rich and famous come to play. So enjoy the scenery and splurge every once in a while, but don't come here expecting a cheap holiday. With that said, you could definitely enjoy much of what these islands have to offer on a budget. Now we're off to Puerto Rico, where we have a slight kink in our plans, but more on that next week. We hope you guys enjoyed our BVI series, and we hope to see you next week. All right, if you like the videos, please subscribe. Love the couch. <laughs> like and subscribe.